Hi. In the last session, we discussed about base method. Base method is nothing but the straight line method or in other words, fixed installment system method. Then we discussed about declining balance method, which is your written down value method or diminishing balance method. And the third one is your maximum amount method where you can set the maximum amount of depreciation to be charged on the assets. Now let us move on to multi-level method. Multi-level method has the flexibility to define different rates of depreciation for different years or periods. The menu path is IMG, financial accounting new, asset accounting new, depreciation, valuation methods, depreciation key, calculation methods, define multi-level method. T code is AFAMS. So let us move to SPRO, then F5. Financial accounting new, asset accounting new, depreciation, evaluation methods, then depreciation key, calculation methods, define multi-level methods, go to additional information, display key attributes, Define multi-level methods. The T code is not reflected here. However, the T code is AFAMS. Now click on the execution button. Put on the chart of depreciation, which is UCOD. Now here, you can select any one and go to levels on the left, right? So you can select any one, any one of the multi-level methods. Now let us select, say for example, zero zero five. Go to levels. And here you can see the acquisition here. And it is double line, double line, 
that is any acquisition year you can choose in year one the base value is zero one zero one is the acquisition value and the percentage is 12 percent then in year two it is becoming 10 percent then nine percent eight percent like this it will change so this is an example of your multi-level method Now you can go to new entries a name multi level that is MM you can write the details. multi-level method for U P capital U P S A make it so twenty five percent say fifteen percent Then you have to select the validity date. Let it be from capitalization date. Now go to levels. The acquisition year is double nine double nine. Let it be for say two years, six months, and the base value is zero one, that is acquisition value. and the percentage is 25 then put here 9999 so it is year 2 from 2 years 7 months It is the replacement value zero three and you can take here fifteen percent. Right, then you save it. So, thus your multi level method is set. Now, let us move to period control method. Period control method is basically meant to mention different rules for different scenarios 
for example, acquisition or subsequent acquisition, retirement, scraps, sale or transfer, upward revaluation, downward revaluation, etc. That means you can set, say for example, uh, the period which is say denoted by a month for charging depreciation on any asset. Suppose you have acquired an asset in the mid-month, you can set the period control method mm -hmm. in such a way that uh, you can charge depreciation on the asset for the full period, for the full month or for the half month or you can ignore that part period charge of depreciation. Moreover, if you acquire an asset at the month end, you can ignore that period through your period control method or if your policy is such, you can also charge full depreciation for that period. So the menu path is IMG financial accounting new, asset accounting new, depreciation valuation methods, depreciation key, calculation methods, defined period control method. The T code is AFAMP. Let us move back As usual, uh, the T code did not appear here. Click on the execution button, maintain period control methods. Here you can see that uh, different period control methods are defined. So, 001, 01, 01, Acquisition, Addition, Retirement, Transfer. Now, this is the uh, standard function. Now, under Acquisition, you will find 01. And the description is such that it describes the acquisition, addition, retirement and transfer. Now what does 01 means? 01 means pro rata at period start date. That is proportionate depreciation will be charged on acquisition. Now same thing will happen in addition as well. Now come to retirement. Now 02 means 02 pro rata proportionate up to mid period at period start date. And for transfer it is also proportionate up to mid period at period start date. So if the transfer or the retirement is at period start date, proportionately we will take up to mid period. So this is the way we can define the period control method. Thank you.